In this diagram, we see the complex plane, representing the arrow of time. In this theory, time is an emergent property, with the future coming into existence, light photon by light photon, with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment. The zero in the center of the diagram represents the moment of now, for each observer or life form, within their own reference frame, with the uncertainty of everyday life represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Photon oscillations or vibrations are represented by transformations upon the complex plane, sending each point to a corresponding point. This continuous transformation represents the continuum of time. Lines on the plane either remain lines or transform to circles, but right angles always stay true. In this theory, the right angles remain the same because the mathematics represents the movement of electromagnetic fields, and electromagnetic fields are always at right angles to each other. This represents the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, photon energy, with the movement of positive and negative electric charge, forming the continuous changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a process over a period of time. But this diagram could never give us a complete understanding of the nature of time, because it is not in three dimensions. The three dimensions of our everyday life is represented mathematically by placing the Riemann sphere above the complex plane. A light at the top shines through the spherical surface, illuminating the plane. As the sphere moves, the points on the plane follow. An observer who accelerates will see the patterns of constellations, as seen in the night sky near Earth, continuously transform relative to his acceleration according to transformations upon the complex plane. This is because each object or observer is forming their own future relative to their own energy and momentum. Therefore, each individual observer can look back in time in all directions from the center of their own reference frame at the beauty of the stars. This gives us an objective understanding to imaginary numbers that are found at right angles to the standard number line on the complex plane. In this theory, the imaginary numbers represent part of the geometry of a dynamic process that forms the three dimensions of space and the continuum of time, or arrow of time. In this diagram, we have the standard number line with positive numbers increasing in magnitude to the right and negative numbers increasing in magnitude to the left. In this theory, the positive numbers represent the future and the negative numbers represent the past, with the zero in the center representing the moment of now within that reference frame. This is a process of continuous energy exchange, or what I like to call continuous creation formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves. In this theory, the imaginary numbers are at right angles to the standard number line, because electric fields are always at right angles to magnetic fields, in a process of permanent flux, forming the continuously changing world of our everyday life. The light photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force that forms a movement of positive and negative charge, with a flow of electromagnetic fields. We see and feel this process of continuous change as a flow of time. In this theory, time is an emergent property, with a future continuously coming into existence, light photon by light photon, with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment. This is a non-linear theory of time, with an arrow of time, or a timeline, from the past into the future, for each object or individual, within their own reference frame. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photon oscillations 
or vibrations continuously coming into existence relative to the actions of the artist, a continuous flow of cause and effect. We have free will because the wave-particle duality of light is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms an interactive process, continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics, forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. Everything forms its own future space-time by slowing up the rate that time flows. This is called time dilation and is relative to our own energy and momentum. This can be seen mathematically because multiplying by the imaginary number i forms a rotation in space and time, forming the curvature of space-time. This represents a process of spherical symmetry, forming and breaking. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms spiral symmetry, in the form of the Raymond surface, rising up out of the complex plane, forming a spiral pattern. Each time we go around the origin, 2 pi, cylindrical symmetry has to be added, and we find ourselves on another sheet of the complex plane. This process forms the three-dimensional space of our everyday life, with a past we can never change, and a future that is always uncertain. There will always be uncertainty at the quantum level, and in our everyday life, because the imaginary number i is the square root of minus one, representing the rotational symmetry, 2 pi, that maintains the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, at t equals zero. The t equals zero represents the moment of now for each object or life form within our own reference frame. In this theory, the physics and mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process. The probability of quantum mechanics that is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. We can only imagine what the future will be like, but in this theory it will be relative to our position and the energy and momentum of our own actions. And therefore everything is connected by one universal process that forms the laws of physics. Even an individual rose will form its own future within the geometry and symmetry of this process. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.